What's going on guys? My name is Ted and Tim bringing you uh, part 2 of my 162-12 to 12 demolition gameplay on Bakara. Make sure to check out part 1 if you've missed it. I want to make sure that you go back and watch that part because the commentary kind of leads into this. Also the gameplay is obviously into the second part. Um, I had a very bad beginning of the round, so I went ahead and cut out a few of my deaths at the very beginning. And also I just skipped right to the defuse part because I'm, you know, team player Ted as always. And then I died a few more times and came back to this part. Um, this second part was probably the worst part. However, I do end up getting my assault Moab in this, in this life, so um, stay tuned for that. Also, guys, I want to talk a little about modern or, uh, about um, some Modern Warfare 3 updates coming out here in uh, Wednesday, the 16th of May. Um, we're going to get a new playlist update, which is going to be a competitive playlist. Also, everyone, not just Elite members, are getting two new free maps, which is pretty cool, um, for this competitive playlist. From my uh, understanding of the playlist, it's going to be a competitive playlist for 1v1 and 2v2 situations, and the maps are very, very small. To put in perspective, I'd say they're about twice the size of Shipment, if you remember Shipment back from Call of Duty 4. So the maps are going to be very, very small. I don't think maps are playable on other game modes except for this competitive playlist, which is why they're so small. But uh, I'm not sure on that, so don't quote me on it. Um, also, Elite members are now getting two new maps, plus the two free maps. They're getting a total of four small maps, very, very small maps, for this new competitive playlist. And um, I like that. I like the return of small maps. Also, I like competitive. I like 1v1 and 2v2 situations. Um, probably expect to see some flawless ones of those on my channel, because I think those are pretty cool. Also, I hope they make it so you get more XP per kill, that way you can rank up a little bit faster. And um, also, all those boost and douchebags can now go and, you know, boost inside of a 1v1 or whatever. That way they don't have to ruin all my free-for-alls, which I've been getting back into recently. Um, it kind of sucks that they took out cage matches and things like that previously, because it made all these uh, boosters go inside the free-for-alls. Well, now they're bringing back the, you know, cage match situation, where it's, you know, the 1v1 and 2v2 uh, situations. And made it so it's objective game modes, like de Domination, they can go boost and get all the number of kills they want inside of those um, you know, the, those other game modes. That way I don't have to worry about them in the free-for-alls. At least I hope they're not infested in the free-for-alls anymore. Also, you see that guy right there? Completely AFK the entire game, or I guess AFC away from a controller, um, which is fantastic. It was a split-screener, and um, I don't know why a split-screener would sign in to, to a split-screen and then only play one of his controllers. It doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. Whatever they want to do. Um, they were horrible players. The other team also, I forgot to mention this previously, the other team stayed in the entire game. Not a single damn guy left the entire game. And you know, the, their scores reflected. Their scores were like, one guy went 1 in 56, um, but everyone else ended up going like 18 and like 100. Like, they just had so many deaths. And um, me personally, I ended up getting about 200 kills throughout this gameplay. Um, I just stomped these guys. Uh, I enjoyed this lobby very much. In fact, when I got in this lobby, we were going for a dome game, and um, it turned out that we didn't get the dome game. And instead, it's like switched lobbies into this one. And I was like, you know, uh, should we back out? But then I saw two split screens on the other team. I was like, sweet, we're definitely staying in this one. So um, we decided to stay in it. And I'm sure glad we did because the first game ever playing Dominate or I'm sorry, Demolition on Bakara, and I get this good of a score. I was very, very happy. And I started playing uh, Demolition on Bakara a lot more often after this. And the thing I like about Demolition on Bakara in particular is that this map, this map is so wide open that I, my air sword is so, so well. And um, that's the great thing for me because you know I love getting a lot of kills. Um, everyone's got their passion about Call of Duty. For me, it's not so much objective play or you know using sniper rifles. For me, I like to use the best guns in the game. I like to use the best situations and advantage to myself and just get the highest scores possible. And if you're new to my channel, that's something you're going to notice as a trend. Uh, my gameplays are always incredibly high scoring gameplays or incredibly good kill death ratios. Um, something like free for all, you know, I can't have a, a higher score than 30 kills in a free for all. So instead for a free for all, what I do is I just make them all flawless. All my free for alls are pretty much flawless Moabs. Um, and that's what I enjoy doing. And I've been playing a lot of free for alls recently, but I haven't been doing nearly as well. I think that um, everyone's getting a little bit smarter. You know, I used to play free for alls a lot during Christmas time, and a lot of Christmas dummies, and um, you know, everyone's getting the COD nowadays. You know, maybe for their birthday or something, but it's not as often that you're gonna run into a group of noobs. And um, I don't like that. I like it back when I could just go inside of a game and just completely stomp the shit out of these kids and um, just just destroy them. That's what I love doing, and I, it's very rare, but it is when it happens, when it comes to that occurrence where you're just against people of blithering idiots. Um, oh my god, it's so much fun. That's one of those games right here. Two split screeners and then two guys, pretty low levels. Um, we just completely annihilated them. And whatever mentality they have of, you know, I'm going to turn the game around, I'm not going to leave, you know. I love that mentality. I wish everyone had that. Because um, these guys were troopers, they stayed in the entire game, and eventually I got taken out right there. Uh, that was like a 30-something gun-only kill streak, which is pretty good. Um, the only reason I died there is I didn't have a vest on. If I had had a vest on right there, I probably would have lived. Um, once again, identifying the strengths of these vests. Unfortunately, Bakara, B Bakara being one of the bigger maps, it's hard to get vests out wherever I want them. Um, you'll notice in my dome demolition gameplays, I've got vests almost everywhere on the entire map. Um, because dome's a very, very small map. On Bakara, it's a lot harder to get those vests everywhere. Anyways, guys, the gameplay's wrapping to a close here. The final score of this round was like 112 kills. I got about 50 more in my third part. Make sure to check that out. I actually die one off another assault mode in my third part, so make sure to check that one out. Link will be on screen or down in the description below. Other than that, guys, enjoy the video, and I'll catch you later.